Hey guys, Lady Dragon here with Angry Corgi Productions. And because it's December 1st, I figured I should read us a Christmas story for bedtime. So the one I've chosen is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Have you heard it? Let's get started. That was kind of scary, wasn't it? Anyway. <clears throat> there were many reindeer at the North Pole where Santa Claus lived. To deliver toys and gifts to the children on Christmas Eve, he chose the eight of the best reindeers to pull his sleigh. His team of reindeers included Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen. Santa Claus fed them magical oats. Magical oats. And corn so that they could fly high. Magical oats so they could fly high. And fast. Santa divided his reindeer into two smaller groups. One with male reindeers and the other with female reindeers. Each, each one had a different personality and interests. Not sure why he had to split them male and rain, male and female reindeers. Anyway, Santa Claus had another little reindeer named Rudolph, the son of Donner and Blitzen. Rudolph had a big, bright red nose, and it was not a regular nose at all. Other reindeers laughed at Rudolph, Aww. called him names, and never let him join their fun and games. That made Rudolph very lonely and sad. Poor guy. One day before Christmas, Rudolph went to Santa Claus and asked if he could be on the sleigh team. Santa loved Rudolph very much, but pulling the sleigh all over the world was a very hard job. So he advised the little reindeer to stay home and wait until he grew up. Overhearing this story, the other reindeers giggled a lot and kept making fun of him. Big jerks. They said that the children would scream and cry if they saw his bright red nose glowing. Hearing this, Rudolph became shy. He hid his unique nose in shame and walked back to his home. Poor little feller. On Christmas Eve, a huge snowstorm hit just one hour before Santa Claus set off. The sky turned dark, the wind blew strongly, and the weather became very foggy. What would happen at Christmas? Santa was quite worried. He was afraid that he couldn't deliver the Christmas gifts to the children in such bad weather. And that, my friends, is the Angry Corgi. <laughs> Santa called on his sleigh team to set off early, but it was so dark that he couldn't see the road. The sleigh got stuck in the trees and then hit the rocks. Oh my. Christmas could be canceled because of the storm and it happened. And if it happened, the children would be disappointed. They sure would. Suddenly Santa remembered Rudolph with his bright, shiny nose. He thought, that if the, he thought that the nose was so bright that it could act as a strong light to guide him on his sleigh. Santa ran to Rudolph and woke him up. The little reindeer was so very surprised and delighted when he saw Santa. His nose glowed even more brightly than usual. Santa asked him to lead the other reindeers pulling his sleigh. Then Rudolph led the sleigh team on that dark night through the harsh wind and thick fog. But the brave little reindeer still tried to fly his best to fly fast. The other reindeers followed Rudolph's big shiny nose to stay on track, admiring Rudolph's bravery. They also tried their best to fly faster. As the sun rose and the fog began to melt away, Santa had already delivered all the Christmas toys to the children all over the world. Santa and the sleigh team were warmly welcomed by everyone when they arrived home. Christmas was saved and Rudolph was the hero of the day. Heck yes, Rudolph! Santa Claus presented Rudolph with the Medal of Honor for his bravery bravery. Holy crap. He began the youngest and bravest reindeer to ever join Santa's sleigh team. From then on, everybody loved Rudolph. The other reindeers never laughed at him and called him funny names again, and Rudolph became very proud of his bright red nose. The end. Well, guys, thanks for joining me. And once again, I'm Lady Dragon with Angry Corgi Productions. Have a good night.